If you want to find out what the Zwift four-week booster program can do in terms of percentage gained, stay tuned to this video. Today, today is the day, ooh wee! I'm excited. Four weeks on the Zwift booster. I put in my first test, I got a 307 according to Zwift. I then tried to check that number with um, Training Peaks and I got 299 doing that. Boy, I have a hard time believing I'm in the same shape that I was going into riding last year. Really have a hard time believing that. Also, bad news for this video because I really wanted to have some skyrocketing results. And if I have a skyrocketing result, I will have an all-time record. So anyway, next time we do the test, we're definitely going to do a calibration and I will film it. Now, I stuck to the plan pretty well. I'll show you the screenshot of my workouts from Training Peaks. I feel like I stayed on course. I added actually a few workouts so I think if you, uh, I did two races, that was the difference between this year and last year. I did two races in this program and I feel like I definitely got a good solid workout from doing those races. Now the Zwift booster program is meant to, I think from things I've read online, it, you know, five to 8% is pretty normal. Last year I got an 8% improvement, I'm pretty sure. And if I got an 8% improvement on my 307, that would be a mind-blowing number for me. That would be amazing. Um, and all signs point to that being possible. I got a 10-minute test the other day as part of one of the workouts, and I did a really, really nice number there. Now, this time I have to be more diligent about calibrating. I'm going to warm up for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to do the calibration. I'm going to make sure my air is pumped up correctly on my tires. Uh, I'm so excited. I got. I even have new kit day for the test. Brand new kit. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. But um, I have my computer plugged in. The phone has plenty of battery. The other camera has a full battery. I think I can make it. 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 So, all right, let's do this. All right, guys, let's get started. Here we go on the 20 minute test. Now, last year, I scored 288 going in to the booster and came out with a 306, about a 5% difference. Oh, I'm sorry, 8% difference. Now, this year, shockingly, I came in with a 307, which is truly unbelievable to me after my daughter was in the hospital this summer. I was off the bike pretty much. A a whole bunch of the fall because I didn't feel like it and really inconsistent writing. I was shocked that I had a 307 coming in. So much so that I have still have some disbelief about that. But uh, Trainer Road seemed to confirm that with a 299, so somewhere in there, let's call it a 305. And this year, I've paced all of these 20 minute efforts. I'm getting really pretty good at it. So let's just take me versus last year. So last year was a 5% increase. And this year was another 5% increase. So overall, from the beginning of last year to the end of the four-week booster, that's a 10% gain. But that's not really much information. So I guess I would say this. If you're watching this video, you can expect about a 5%, a 3 to 5% gain depending on your level of activity. If you're newer to cycling or you've been out of it longer, you're going to have a much bigger number. Um, I weigh 80 kilograms. So that... This year took me from a 307, we'll call uh, on Zwift, is a 3.8 watts per kilo to a 3.95 watts per kilo. Again, 3.8 watts per kilo to 3.95. I just cannot crack that four. So I have some things to think about. What can I do to ramp up so I can get above four? More consistent training, better timing, eating correctly, and I really want to enter this year hot versus last year. So I'm 
turning to Training Peaks, I'm still going to race a little bit on Zwift, but my attention is definitely going to be on Training Peaks. And my first two workouts on there, I can say it's definitely more work-focused, and there's not a lot of fun happening, but that's not my goal. My goal is to get out and race my bike in the spring and ride my bike with my friends and not be embarrassed. So, by the way, love the ramp test, and I'm just going to explain a little bit different of how I approached this year by having the ramp test in the beginning and the end to verify all of these numbers. In the end, the ramp test that I'm about to take showed 307 from Trainer Road. Okay, friends, it's the next night. I'm done with my FTP test from Zwift. Now I'm going to verify those results with Trainer Road. I'm going to do their ramp test. And I'll tell you what, there's another reason why I want to do this the next night. And this is it. Last year when I was done with the four-week booster, I was so relieved to be done that I thought, well, I'll just train. I'll just figure it out. Well, nothing really happened. So... My plan this year is to roll in directly into another plan. So that's how I'm going to use Trainer Road. I may have said Trainer Peaks before, sorry. Trainer Road to facilitate that. So it just so happens the first workout in a Trainer Road plan is the ramp test. So tonight is actually going to finish or verify my FTP test from before. And it's also going to serve as the jumping off point for Trainer Road uh, and then I'll do a video on Trainer Road. Trainer Road's definitely a longer, more involved process, but I think it's the direction that I want to move. I'm still going to race on Zwift throughout the time I'm on Trainer Road, but someone, uh, a viewer of the channel, I can only imagine, someone I don't know, sent me a free month of Trainer Road. And I have a week left of my friend, who I do know, that sent me a month of Trainer Road. So I'm going to jump right into using his free month with what's left of my friend's free month, and that should get me pretty far. Uh, yeah. So thanks. I'll put the name of the person who sent it to me, someone in Colorado Springs, I think. So I appreciate that. Not sure how you found me or why you picked me, but thank you. Okay. Time for the ramp test. Let's verify those results from last night. Ooh, I want to do better. Ooh. All right, guys, I know the point of this video is the four-week booster on Zwift. What do you get for it? You get gains, 3 to 5% if you're experienced, 8 to 10% if you have less mileage. That's the absolute takeaway summary. However, I would highly encourage you to think about jumping into the ramp test. The reason is it's a much more approachable test. You might be able to build this on Zwift, but it's easily accessible on Trainer Road. And I love it because as you're going to be laying out your training program, you need to be able to test this frequently. And that is really what the ramp test allows you to do. So it's not necessarily a preference between one or the other, but the ramp test, or I should say the platform from one to the other, but I have a high preference now for the ramp test versus the 20 minute test. So that's really not a discussion between trainer road or Zwift, uh, but it is interesting nonetheless. So Really happy with this year, really happy with the four-week booster, and very much looking forward to putting in some hard time on Trainer Road. Well, there you have it, friends, the 2019 booster. A couple things to take away from this. I think the key lesson I discussed a minute ago was last year I finished the program and then I just went off and did my own thing. Terrible, terrible mistake. So last year I did, started season pretty good and then I fell apart because I didn't really have uh, consistent training going into the season. And that's really what the training plan does is it forces you to do consistent training. So when I switched to training peaks just in the last two days it's asked me to do two two hour workouts back to back. And I can tell you I did not feel like doing that. But having something on the calendar telling you to do it, maybe that provides that extra 10% motivation to get you off your butt and go figure it out and get it done, which is what I did. So, thanks for watching. If you like what I had to say today, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you get a chance, 
just go crazy on that thumbs up button. Just smack the snot out of that thing. All right, talk to you guys soon.